for me, it, it was really important to try and get them to see me as a human being. And so it would make it harder for them to, to kill me if it did come to that point. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. They were Muslim and they were interested in what our religious beliefs were. Are you Christian? Yes, I am. He said to become Muslim would be the best thing that we could do. But if you don't convert, then the likelihood would be that they would get a ransom for us and then kill us. I've read the Quran. It wasn't really a decision that we had much option in. If we don't, then they're going to kill us anyhow. told them we're ready to convert. Oh, I'd been reading the Quran for about three days. Hang on a minute, we've got to talk about this. I was so underprepared. We have to convert or they'll kill us. I was terrified that if it wasn't convincing, what were the consequences for us being found out? This is a massive decision. She said, well, I've told them we can't go back on it now. They're going to be here in the next hour or two. If you convert and, and don't have true belief, then you're basically worse than an infidel. They believe that they have the right to kill you. In that situation, you're never going to feel ready. We didn't know what we were doing. If they thought we were faking it, then it was potentially life-threatening. Oh, I would sort of do everything a few seconds after them. I didn't feel that we were convincing at all. I felt like a, a complete fake. sense of security from the conversion. I wasn't really sure how long this bluff was going to have to last for. 